Almost seven o'clock on a uh, Wednesday evening, the uh, big blue, big tree, actually it's the big tree blue sky camera, if I get that uh, labeling correct. <laughs> what a great day. I got to go down to the uh, waterfront in Portland and do a live shot from the operator's tower on the Burnside Bridge. It was kind of cool to get to see the operator's tower and then get the live shot looking back down at the two Coast Guard ships that came in today. The two big Navy ships will come in for Fleet Week during the day tomorrow on Thursday. So that's exciting stuff. Okay, forecast-wise, no big changes. Looks like 73 or 74 will end up being the high temperature uh, today in Portland, and we should have a complete do-over on Thursday. That means some morning clouds, afternoon clear skies, probably developing around lunchtime, if not before. High temperatures, at least low to mid 70s, maybe a little bit warmer if we get the sun earlier in the day. And often a reminder, when we get these low clouds in the morning and then you get the clearing during the day, you get these winds that pick up during the afternoon, kind of sporadic winds, as the air bubbles mix because you get the cool air, then the clouds clear, then that warms up. So you get these uneven heated bubbles or parcels of air and that creates these kind of sporadic winds. Um, anyway, same forecast pattern through the weekend. Dry weather. Each morning we have at least a chance of some morning clouds, then sun, then up into the 70s. The chance of rain next week not looking as great as it one time did. I still have scattered showers in Tuesday's forecast, but the models were showing an upper level low, giving us some rain maybe Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Now that doesn't appear to be the case, which is bad news because we could use some June rainfall. Okay, have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you soon.